All right. So now we're gonna now we're gonna move over in VR to um, ground vehicle weapons. I mean, uh, sorry, uh, air vehicles. So we have our fighter, our uh, attack helicopter. Uh, this is a bomber, uh, a heavy aircraft, and galaxy or troop transport. So this works the same way as uh, did with vehicles within the. Um, we're talking about ground vehicles. Uh, we have um, weapon selection. The Mustang's a decent one. The um, I like using this one or the, or the um, Vortex, but you have to try to figure out for yourself. I think this is more of an anti-infantry weapon, but there's some other weapons in there to use. Um, and here's an air hammer. People like using the air hammer. And um, utility slots. We've got decoy flares, which are for if they, somebody fires a lock on at you, you can fire those and an injection system. To jump out, if you're a light assault, you can um, jump out safely and land. If you're not a light assault, you're going to die if you jump out of an EFS, a Valk, uh, or a Liberator. Both Valkyries and uh, Galaxy have built-in deployment functions, so you can jump out of them uh, without being killed. I'm pretty sure the Valkyrie you can. Yeah, you can jump out of Valkyries without dying, I'm pretty sure. Galaxies for sure. Um, so, uh, the eject, you have the ejection system, you can jump out and fall to the ground safely. Um, if you're fighting an air fight, and there's an EFS, they're going to try to kill you on the way down for sure, or try to chase you uh, if you have the ejection seats. Um, fire suppression, of course, that's, that's a vehicle repair, and they'll turn, okay, take Turn, uh, stop the fire if you catch on fire if you get down that low. Scout radar um, works like the scout radar for the flash and the ant. That does work for the entire faction, so um, you can use that to scout out bases for um, uh, your entire faction. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get an anti out of fire suppression on that one. And in defense, you get the composite armor and then out of repair and the vehicle stealth. Um, vehicle stealth, you, you have a little bit of that already innately. Um, but this is this increases it. Um, the composite armor, of course, is more armor, and, and repair is auto repairs your equipment. Um, auto repairs on all, everything it only just works when you're not in combat. It's all out of combat. I'm going to go ahead and get this. I'm not going to be in combat here, so I'm going to go ahead and get this just for the heck of it. And um, performance, I'm going to get the um, uh, I'm going to get the dog fight because I kind of like that. And the hover stability is more for like if you're if you're gonna galaxy and you're trying to uh, drop troops, it's really best for that. High speed racer is just getting someone quick. I'm sure most of the aces in the air are using the high speed racer, but I'm putting the dogfight on this one for now. All right, and um, this is our secondary weapon. It comes basically with with extra fuel tanks for for uh, originally, and the fuel tanks are all for your turb uh, for your booster. Um, they have a couple different kind of fuel tanks or you can use your weapons. <coughs> These are um, rockets. They're like unguided rockets. The Coyote are uh, rockets that when they get close to aircraft, they'll lock onto them. Um, uh, the Hornet missiles are, um, are, are are laser guided, so when you fire those, you continue guiding them from, uh, with a, from the crosshairs from your piloting. Um, and the Reavers are lock on, uh, range lock, I mean, sorry, the uh, Tomcats are um, range lock on. Uh, the Reavers are the NC uh, light fighter craft. Uh, the Vanu have Scythe, and the Terrans have Mosquitoes. I'm going to put the um, Breaker Rockets on here. And I'm going to load them up. And I don't think I loaded up the main weapon, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, I got everything loaded out. And so I'm gonna, and it's like I've talked about in the other video. You can go in here for the uh, certs. Mainly, what you're looking for is for this passive, because that's the only that's the only thing that you're not. When you're out here, you see all the other things here. The only thing that you're not going to see is the passive. So you want to look in all your vehicles and check your passive. I'm gonna go ahead and spawn. 
Okay, now for whatever reason it wasn't let me change the views and um, when I was um, using the um, ground vehicles, but it's letting me do is do it in the air in the in the air vehicles for whatever reason. So up here you can switch using your T's. Your, I think the default toggle you can switch back and forth. You can use your Q button to try to see if you can cue anything down there. I'm too far away apparently. I'm kind of hovering up here, so I'm going to do a little flying around for a second, and so you get your pitch. And yaw and whatnot, and there's there's the afterburners burning. I spent the tank. In here, you can't see it hit that ceiling. If the ceiling and the and the real and the and the continents, um, you can bump into them and they don't do any damage to you. All right, so there's enemy vehicles down there. I know there are. I'm trying to get trying to get switched to my zoom, but it's not zooming for some reason. All right, there's my zoom on now, and when you zoom, it's kind of like a little tighter in the control. Switch the other weapon, my rockets. And that kind of gives you base. Basically, what I do is when I'm fighting in a fighter jet, I use that. When I'm not, then I use the, um, then I use the third person when I'm flying around. Use a lot better control, especially when you're trying to land. I'm gonna go ahead and land this over here. And I'm gonna pull another one, get the next one. I got the Valkyrie. Same thing. The Wyvern. Got your missile launcher. The cast is like an anti anti. It's like it's just like a kind of like a this is sort of like an explosive rocket, uh, explosive uh, machine gun thing. It's just really devastating against troops. Um, this is a this Gatling gun, basically, and then they've got their Pelter rockets. I'm going I'm to stay with the Wyvern for now. And there's only the nose gun. The, the pilot doesn't have a weapon, only the, the gunner does. Um, you got to, you got your deploy flares and the, and the radar. Radar is really useful for the Valkyrie, I think. Uh, that's the scout radar, this, that, um, which is usable by the whole faction versus proximity radar, which is only usable by vehicle occupants. Um, we have the defense slots here, so um, uh, you can get your composite armor, your auto repair, or your stealth. If you're sneaking around with the scout radar, then you want to do your stealth. So I'm going to put stealth on here. If you're doing a battle one, then you want to get the composite. Um, the good thing about a Valkyrie is since it's got these four seats in here, and you'll see them when we go into the vehicle deploy, but you can put put um, guys out here with um, NG repair tools and just have them constantly repairing the Valkyrie in the air. It makes it extremely powerful if you got if you get people to work with you. Um, here's evasiveness, air and uh, hover stability. I am going to go with the hover stability on this one just because. And I'll go ahead and deploy. Alright, so you see it's on controls a little, you know, I got the hover stability, so it's controlling different because of that. And you can, and I'm going to get up a little bit higher before I start doing this, but, you, you, so there's the buttons for lift and for dive in addition to using the frontal controls, like I'm going up now and here's the down one. So you, you can, you can like, you can flip over, there's a, you, there's enough room to do it in this, even in, even in here and you can do a lot of if practice you're flying around in in here is really what you should do practice flying around the um, and just getting uh, used to controlling the aircraft before trying to get out into the main game I highly suggest that for the air all right so I know where so I lost myself here Okay, so I want to be able to show you the guns on this. So I'm gonna get over here so I can face some enemy troops. You gotta pay attention um, when you're um, trying to single. Use a um, aircraft because. Um, 
it's not gonna you, you need to make sure you land it before you start using the guns unless you're really high up whoops I'm gonna blow up sorry oops all right so I blew that up so I flipped it that happens it's gonna happen accidents happen anyway so there's a front gun on that I'll get another one real quick here after I read it I'm gonna redeploy if I, if I can't get over here quick enough and then get in the gunner seat come back down again I just watched, wasn't watching my train good enough because it's night time. I wasn't paying attention. You can just have fun playing this game. You don't have to be super serious about it to enjoy it. I don't want to get super serious about it. There's no reason to rage quit and get super upset about anything. Just try to enjoy the game. Alright, I'm going to take this out here real quick. Get it landed. Fire the main weapon, switch to the next one. And so this is basically just a this is your basic weapon that comes with the Valkyrie. It is fairly powerful just from the get-go. These vehicles are already damaged, but still, you can see it's doing a decent amount of damage to these tanks. All right, that's, that's mosquito actually. I'm shooting on there. I think I don't think it was a hit in the tank. All right, so I'm going to the next one. Next one we're going to be looking at is the Liberator, and the Liberator has three seats in it. You see that it's the Valkyrie still up there. I got that going still. So there's there's a set, there's six seats in that, so that can cover carry half a squad. Whoops, wrong terminal. All right, so the Liberator has got th got three seats in it. Uh, the front gun is for. Um, it's for the pilot and um, I usually take the uh, tank buster these others are the, the, the vector is good for shelling an area spurs good for because it allows you to turn more um, for visualize when you're piloting but uh, let's put the tank buster on here for now uh, the belly weapon is really the main attack weapon uh, the shredder is like a is like a it's it's a basically a uh, like an AGS machine gun system. Uh, it's multiple machine guns firing. Um, the Dalton is a, um, a, a single shot cannon. Basically, it's like an AP. Um, and the Duster is like a um, explosive round, but it affects a wide area. That's really good for using to fire against like a. There's a big firefight going on in a bio lab, and all kinds of people are out in the jump pads outside. That's really good for firing on those areas. And there's the Zephyr. There's more explosive rounds for anti personnel. Put the shredder on here for now. <coughs> and you see the optics for the um, the optics for the thing in the, for the air for the air vehicles um, have a higher zoom because you're farther away. So I slide this one in. And the tail weapon is primarily for anti um, air. So if you're getting chased by whatnot by uh, fighters, you can fight them off. So I like the uh, the uh, Hyena missiles for that. People, other people like the different ones. Um, these aren't so good against firing against the ground targets. The Walker and the Drake and the Bulldog are for firing against ground targets. Um, uh, the Walker is, a, is also anti-air um, vehicle. The Drake is only so much anti-air vehicle. It's really you can hit it with that, but it's really these two are the primary anti-air. Alright, and you got the utilities just like the other ones. You got the ejection seat, fire support, fire support. 
and you get the um, composite armor and vehicle stealth and then on auto repair um, this is an attack vehicle you want to get one of these two most of the time and you got your precision bomber airplane which is like your hover for the other ones and this is like for the this is like the dog fight and then you got your fat your super fast moving one okay so this one should have the passive it does for the afterburner so you can't see that at passive out here again you have to go into uh, the search to see it passive radar and sorry passive uh, systems in order to see the uh, afterburner and you can like I said in the other ones you can see what the higher levels are for the things like the see only got one level so we're going to go ahead and deploy this this one flies a little bit a uh, little bit uh, slower and a little bit more boat like than the um, uh, the Valkyrie and the uh, EFS, the uh, Reaver. And for whatever reason, it's not letting me zoom again. I don't know why. Alright, so I'm going to land this so I can get in the other seats without this thing falling out of the air. So while you're in seat 2, you can see I can't see forward. The delivery pilot has got to pull the nose up or got to get directly over an area before I can fire on it with this weapon. And this is being in the belly seat is makes some people dizzy. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that know about that right now. All right, the so back weapon is is primarily for firing against um, enemy vehicles that are chasing the liberator, but it can be used to fire on ground targets too. Um, just like the just like the uh, the belly gun, uh, you can't fire straight in front of the aircraft. You kind of got he's got to got to pull his nose up a little bit or fly over the target for you to be able to hit it. Um, so that's basically the Liberator. So I'm going to go to the next next vehicle. It's the Galaxy will be the last aircraft. Galaxy is your uh, <coughs> troop dropship. Um, not to be confused with the dropship that's up in space, but this one's the one that's going to be moving um, troops up to an area um, for deployment. Um, your primary deployment vehicles are the Galaxy and the Sunderer. There's other ways to get people to the front. You know, if it's your own base, you can deploy to the base once you have the um, option to deploy there. And there's uh, ways to put. Um, routers that you can build through the construction portion of the game and uh, maybe I'll do a video on construction maybe I won't we'll see about that all right so um, we have the different weapons on here on the galaxy you got the ones on either wing the one in the center and the one in the back all right so you got the top weapon and because that one's on top that one's probably mostly used for anti-air so I would, I primarily would go with the Walker or with the uh, Hyena. Some people are able to fly um, aircraft upside down, and uh, that's good for an attack galaxy to fly it upside down, uh, because that way you can use the Top Gun as well, and then you can go with the Drake. I would suggest getting the Walker or the Hyena up top. If you you if you people aren't the best shots in the world, the Hyena is the way to go. If they're decent shots, then go with the Walker. Right, 
this is the tail weapon. This is primary, primarily an anti-air uh, uh, seat. So I'm going with a walker on that one as well because it's an anti-air weapon. Uh, the wings. Um, so if you're going against ground targets, either the Peltra rockets or the Bulldogs are the way to go. Um, the base defaults to Drake. It isn't bad. It's decent against air. So um, the Pelta rockets are just good. Are you know they're different. They're for, they're for um, you know unguided anti anti armor rockets. Which you know if if you're in an air vehicle, if you're doing an assault, probably I would go with the Drake or the Bulldog over the Pelta rockets. I'd go the Drake for as a get go for because of the anti um, air capability. So I'm going to go ahead and put Drake's on both wings. Utility slots, you got your decoy flares, your suppressor. Uh, uh, decoy flares, I usually, you know, that's up to you. That's just good against lock ons, fire suppression, or automatically repair you. And here we got all the different kind of um, things. Got with the lock on jamming field, I haven't used that yet, and that's that's been that was added, you know, in the last year or so. Um, and it helps other friendly aircraft too, which that ain't, that ain't bad. Composite armor, you know, that just makes your armor more better. <coughs> and then auto repair repairs you. Proximity repair uh, is like uh, for this, like for the Sunderer. This repairs other vehicles that are in the area near you. If there's a large aircraft flotilla or something, that could be very useful to getting you points for repairing. Uh, in the same way that the ammo dispenser can give you extra points for repairing, or uh, sorry, actually for uh, resupplying enemy vehicles. This the ammo supply will work on ground vehicles as well as air vehicles, so you can fly down low over enemy, I said friendly. Um, tank columns and whatnot and resupply them though the, you'll be a big target uh, stealth is of course for sneaking around you're huge you're in the sky got to think about that one for a second I'm gonna put it on for composite right now in the performance we got your precision drops with basically your hover airframe I'm gonna go with that you get the high G airframe which is your dogfight and your racer which is going fast I have all my stuff sorted out here I don't think there's a passive oh there is a passive there is no passive there's no passive on the galaxy, so we don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to go ahead and spawn. Everything's selected. So you, you see all your seats over there, like on the Sunderer. And in the previous video, you can f put a full um, squad inside of the galaxy. Squad mates can uh, directly redeploy to the galaxy. You see all your seats there. And you get your four gunner seats. You switch your seats by um, hitting your F buttons related to that seat. All right, so primarily what you're using the galaxy for is you're going to go you know, over an enemy base. You get over your enemy base, and then um, there's a there's a control that you have, which is which is your like your air brakes will completely stop you, just like it neutralizes the throttle. I have that set up on here, the same button that I have for the deploy on the uh, ant and the sunderer, and for swapping my um, the type of uh, fire rate on my infantry weapons. And so when I switch from um, first person to third person it automatically br breaks my um, air vehicles so um, right now um, um, in a hover location people could deploy to me jump out of me and fall down to the ground at this point and they would when they landed they would land safely so you could just stay up here and um, let your squad fly out or you could fly um, away and because there's an enemy fire firing in and once you got people back into your air vehicle you could fly back over the area you don't have to stop when you drop but it it, it, it um, causes momentum and um, you might if you're not careful you can wing slap people when you um, when they jump out so that's the galaxy it's got the four weapons on there we'll go down here and land so you can see what it looks like from the gunner seats And just just like with the uh, ground vehicles, I really suggest you go in here out into VR to practice um, driving out here. So there it is. It's parked, landed. I can get back into it. Um, gunner seat uh, two. And one is always one is always the driver's seat. Right, so two. I'm in the um, 
I'm going to hit the top gun. You can see how the range on that is. Um, now I'm in the rear, three is the rear gun. And you can see the, see the turret moving around there on the map too. Go to the right gun. I'm oh, sorry, the left gun. Yeah, that's it. And the right gun. And so you can see the areas of uh, control you have in the, as far as the seats go. There's nothing firing. The most down firing, uh, down firing of the, this one can fire almost all the way down. Um, the back, it can fire almost all the way down. And of course the top weapon, um, you can't, that one's going to be, so you can't fire downwards because of the uh, vehicles obviously in the way. So that's the Galaxy. redeploy here so that's going over the basics for the um, not how to fly but uh, what the different vehicles are um, you kind of have to get a handle for yourself you're probably somebody in your unit uh, your outfit because hopefully you're going to join an outfit um, I strongly suggest you find, join an outfit. Um, you'll find somebody in your outfit that is, is, a, is a decent pilot or a, or a good pilot or a very good pilot and they can help you out with piloting. And just like the um, with the ground vehicles, we'll go ahead and go over that um, um, you do have the ability to go in here and change the appearance of your vehicles. Um, you can ch it's like a just change the intakes on there. And the, um, you know, you, 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 but this is all all the customization costs money. You can't like insert it in the game. You can get your nano lights on there, which will light you up like a star in the middle of a battle at night, and so the enemy can just pick you off easily. I don't suggest it. That's kind of cool. So there's different. So you get to see what see what's going on there with the different kinds of um, externals. You can put your um, I, uh, put your um, put your uh, uh, decals on there and I'll show up. I can't remember where it shows up on the galaxy. I'm not seeing it now. I thought it showed up here on the back end somewhere on the tail or something, but I don't see it. Um, and you can change the glass up front for whatever reason if you want to do that. And um, so um, those are the basics and um, of uh, the fighter aircraft, um, we'll go over um, uh, this ne this bar next in the next video, and then uh, maybe hit some individual vehicles and whatnot. <laughs>